Hi, hello guys. Uh, in this video, we will see how to uh, draw an involute for a circle. First, let us see the question. Uh, you take the fourth one. Draw the involute of a circle of diameter 20 mm and mark a tangent at normal to the curve at any point on the curve. Okay. Now go to the software. First, set the basic things, units. It's already in the millimeter. Okay. Next, set the limits. 0 comma 0 space and then 420 comma 2 minutes. Once you set the limits, you type zoom and all. So now we will start uh, drawing the involute of a circle of diameter 40 mm. Okay. So type circle. So specify center somewhere here. Now diameter they are given. 40 so radius you have to give 20 so this is our circle so after getting the circle what you have to do select the line from this point you draw a line horizontal line so that this line should be tangent to the circle for a length uh, equal to uh, circumference of this circle so first we will go and calculate the circumference, it is 2 pi r, 2 into 3.14 into uh, radius is 20 mm. So the value is 126, 125.6, okay. So I am going to draw a line for 125.6. <coughs> So after drawing the line, next thing what you have to do, take line and then from this point you connect the center point. Next what I am going to do, I am going to divide this line into some 6 equal parts, okay. 6 or 8, okay. can I have it 8 equal parts, okay. div, type div, select this object. So I'm going to divide it into eight equal segments. Eight. Now it is divided, but it is not visible. So I'm going to change the point style. Now I'm going to select this one or select this one. I'm going to select three. See, now I got the points. <coughs> Next, I'm going to divide this circle into eight equal parts with each uh, line having a tangent like this so for that i am going to do a use a command called array so, type array select the objects so, select this line this line and all the points you have to select this vertical line and this tangent line and all the points okay after selecting all this thing press space now it is asking uh, now you have to select uh, now it is asking rectangular path or polar array select polar array so specify the center point so i'm going to specify this as the center point okay so now we have got 6 but I plan to divide the circle by 8 because we have divided this line by 8 equal parts so we have to divide this circle also by 8 equal parts to do that so go to these items here you can see 6 right you remove the 6 and change to 8 and press space 8 and then click give this tick mark so now I got 8 such lines ok. So I divide this circle also into 8 equal part. Remember one thing uh, you have to divide this circle as well as this line by same number of parts ok. I, I divided this line by into 8 equal parts. Similarly for the circle also I have to divide it by 8 equal parts. So next once you got all this now use this spline command spline is spline command <coughs> start from here start from this point select and then select this point 
on the second line you have to select the second point if it is a first line you have to select the first point for second line you have to select the second point for third line you have to select the third point so you have to select the point that is corresponding to that line okay so for this is the fourth line okay, so i am going to select here this is the fifth line so fifth point you have to select the fifth point here you have to select the sixth point here you have to select the seventh point and finally you have to select here at the last okay at the end point of this line so now you move the cursor after clicking for some distance and then press space to complete the envelope so this is the envelope okay next what you have to do we have to delete the excess line that is line that is outside the curve so before that we will delete these points also we don't uh, require these points anymore so we have to select these points and we have to delete just uh, only delete the points for that we have to use the blue box okay so So, use. so we as we use the array option so it is uh, this entire all this object is selecting as a single object so to uh, isolate each objects what you do you type isolate uh, not isolate explode explode and you select this object and then press space so now you can see if i select this line only this line is selected so if you use the array command the entire uh, array will be formed as a single unit so we have to isolate each units uh, each entities or each object so we have to uh, use explode command and then we have to select that array and we have to isolate each entity okay so once i uh, isolated the entities now you can able to easily uh, So once you select all the points press delete okay now again you use the trim command and then you delete these excess lines okay next we are going to name each section go to text txt text so specify the height rotation p1 this is going to be my switch of the ortho mode is going to be p1 control c control v so this is going to be my p2 <coughs> okay. p3 P4, P5, 
first you have to come out of this text bar press escape and then control v Yes. Click outside, press escape and then control. Okay, we are given name to the each section. <coughs> so now next what we have to do? Next we have to mark the normal and the tangent at any point. <coughs> so you can mark it at any point. So they haven't given the any distance or any constraint. So I am going to put uh, some point randomly type PO so I am going to put a point here now what you have to do now we have to connect this point to the corresponding section tangent line ok line click here then So here, uh, to get the normal and tangent, uh, what you have to do, connect this point to the center of the circle, okay, next, put a semicircle, put a semicircle, uh, for that we can do again, we will go to the circle, and select at the midpoint ok then take this up to the center point now what you do now you delete the one portion of the circle ok so before deleting what you do don't delete now so this point ok this point we have to join with the this point this point from this point you have to join up to this point so this is going to be your normal this is going to be your normal again I am explaining what you have to do after placing the point type line click here go to the center and then draw a circle by keeping the center at the midpoint of this line okay. and radius is uh, diameter of the circle should be the length of the point from the center okay. now what you do again line so you join see this circle is intersecting with this circle at this point so start from this point and then join this point so this is your normal so now delete the circle no need it anymore and also delete this line also so okay this is going to be your normal so we have to uh, extend on the other side also for that you use rotate command select this object this specify this is base point copy and do 180 give 180 now draw a line perpendicular to this line so I am going to rotate that line select space base point copy 90 degree so again select this line RO this base point copy and 180 degree so this is my normal and this is my tangent so we will give a name control c control this here this is my tangent okay i am going to give t dash t and this point n so this also i am going to give some name here this point yes. n dash you give n dash n n dash is our normal 
t d t dash is the tangent to the so now you can you can increase the line weight select here similarly for uh, tangent and normal as well select 35 so the line weight is not increased it is increased but it is not visible select this one so now it is visible to so select this one and change the color select this line and change the color select this line change okay this is the involute of a circle thank you guys